there is actually a very easy way that Zuko and his dragon Druk, as well as Tonrock, Eska, and Desna, could have destroyed the Red Lotus. What they could have done is, right when the Red Lotus attacked, Zuko's dragon Druk, instead of flying around for a while, it could have immediately breathed fire upon Zaheer, Gazan, and Mingwa, and burned them all alive. Because, obviously, Druk did try to burn Mingwa and Pali alive, but, you know, Pali is a firebender, so the fire actually ended up helping her, and she got to use that uh, blast from her from her head. And so that's how she managed to defeat the dragon and they, the Red Lotus all escaped. So really, Druk could have just breathed fire on all of them or maybe just breathed fire on Mingwa right as she was about to break into the prison, into the ice ground. The second way is... Uh, oh, by the way, I just want to add, it's pretty... I love how they had Druk, the dragon, survive that uh, police fire explosion. Like police a combustion explosion without any explanation like didn't even explain how he survived but he's just there later in later episodes like he's just alive and he's just seems to be doing fine so i'm not i mean i don't know how he survived that but i'm glad he did so maybe he went to the spirit water maybe he's just immune or maybe her police blast was not strong enough like because she hadn't used it for a few years so i, I don't know why but i'm glad he did survive and like i said i hope there's a lot of other dragons out there as well but yeah so that it was nice how they had him survive with but they didn't even explain it so that was hilarious and nice at the same time but the other way that uh they could have won the fight is perhaps what they should have done is i actually think this might sound a little controversial but i think zuko eska desna and tonrock should have set a trap for Zaheer, Gazan, and Mingwa. And by trap, I mean, really, Zuko, Tanrock, Eska, and Desna should have just killed Pali and left the prison doors open. And then right when uh, Gazan, Mingwa, and Zaheer show up, maybe just then the dragon Druk can just burn them alive. Or they can the wait they can wait for Zaheer, Gazan, and Mingwa to, you know, get into the prison and then find Pali dead. And then realizes it's a trap and then just trap them. But then, I mean, in the ice prison, Ming was surrounded by her element, water. And um, I guess Kazan is pretty useless. But Zaheer, if he realizes Pali is dead, then he's going to let go of earth, all his earthly attachments and be able to fly. So that might even be worse because then Zaheer would be more powerful up front. So I would just say, but yes, I think it, it obviously would have been strategically tactical move to have Pali killed before they even arrive. Like, that's what they should have done, but you know, White Lotus has too many morals, so they wouldn't have done that. And alternatively, I'm also going to discuss how Bolin and Mako could have taken out Gazan and Pali. I mean, excuse, excuse me, Gazan and Mingwa, and then maybe Korra could have taken out Zaheer. And for the Korra part, imagine if like Iroh like showed up. <laughs> in the middle of Zaheer and Kor's meeting and the Iroh realized what was going on and Iroh like grabs Zaheer and threw him into the Fog of Lost Souls. <laughs> and that would take care of Zaheer. And then ming and Gazan show up to capture Korra and Korra and Asami. It's like... Okay, I mean... You know, it's... There's a lot of ways this could play out. So let's say Korra and Asami run away and Mako and uh, Bolin face off with... Ming Wan Gazan. And so uh Korra breaks out. I mean not Korra breaks out, but uh Iroh shows up in during Korra and Zaheer's meeting and he Iroh crashes their meeting and Iroh throws Zaheer into the fog of lost souls and Zaheer is lost forever. And then uh Mako all of a sudden just decides to, and then uh Bolin realizes he can lava bend early on and then he uses lava against Gazan who is totally caught off guard and then Gazan just melts in his own lava and the Mako uses lightning on, Puli, on uh, Mingwa and the Mingwa dies so there's only Puli left and then Mako and Gazan catch up and they uh and Mako and Bolin uses uh lava bending to save uh Asami and Korra from the Earth Queen's guards who Earth Queen's guards just run away 
And then so Korra, Asami, Makoto, Bolin team up. I mean, regroup, regroup together. And meanwhile, Poli is so worried because Gazan and Mingwa have not returned and Zaheer is not returning. And they wish Poli would realize something wrong is wrong with Zaheer. And I think Poli would go after them. But then I think even though Poli is massively powerful, Asami, Korra, Mako, and Bolin with their combined strength would probably defeat Puli, either capture or destroy her, and then they would meet up with Zuko and uh, Tanark and Lin, uh, Beifang, and they could regroup from there, and Korra would explain what happened with the Red Lotus and all that. And yes, so that means they could have easily won the fight if that had happened. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, that's another way. I mean, there, there's quite a few different ways the Red Lotus could have been defeated. Mm. But obviously they were very powerful and when you're facing off with someone that powerful, it's hard to think and it's hard to react properly and so the powerful bad guys are going to have a massive advantage. <laughs>